This is Patrice Wenling at the European Society of Cardiology, speaking with Professor Thiel. There's been a paucity of data regarding the intraortic pump. What does your trial bring? So our trial is the first scale, large scale, or large scale randomized trial sh um, showing or randomizing patients with the intraortic balloon pump or control um, with the background that all the patients with cardiogenic shock were um, revascularized. So this is the mo most important thing. Your findings, um, is it the end of the use of uh, the pump? Has PCI killed the pump? Um, I think it's too early to say that's the end of the pump. So um, we had a paucity of data, so that's a problem um, before that there uh, was really no hard evidence that the endiotic bloom pump can improve the survival of these patients. Um, however, we still have to wait, this is what I personally believe, we, we have also have to wait for a longer term, uh, long term follow up of our data. So we, in our protocol we are looking also for the 6 months and 12 months data. So before we close um, this, um, this chapter, I think we will also have to wait for long term, uh, for long -term follow up data. Hey, have you got any uh, indication right now of where it's at? Yeah, so indication. So the indication before was um, um, intraortic bloom pump for patients in cardiogenic shock um, with a class 1 recommendation in the guidelines, um, in the American and also in the European guidelines. Um, currently, personally, I believe it will go down. So um, not every patient will get an intraortic bloom pump um, because um, of the negative uh, results of our trial. Do you see any patient in whom you'd still use the pump? For cardiogenic shock, probably we will stop doing it. So. Um, um, because this is what our trial has shown, if he treats the patients according to guidelines, so which, which means early revascularization, optimal management with um, catecholamines, um, we will we won't need anything in 60% of the patients. For the other patients, we will have to look for um, the balloon pump does not support um, these patients. Maybe we'll have to think about more percutaneous left ventricular assist devices in high-risk patients, but this is um, open for future uh, research. Thank you.